Hi guys, beautiful day out here. Uh, thank you for coming to my channel. Really important that you subscribe and become one of the members of my channel because it inspires me to do some more comments. Oh my God, I'm blinded by the light. Today I went down to Heidi Gallery, which is uh, just about 20 minutes away from where I live. But when I was growing up, it was very close to my house. Uh, so much so, when I was old enough to cross the main road, I was able to get to the Yarra. And the Yarra was really the start of my Huckleberry Finn lifestyle, uh, which I loved very much. Once we were down on the river, we were able to swim and muck around and have a fantastic time down there right through summer. And of course, no parents, no one, no adults. And it really was a Lord of the Flies down there with all the kids and different gangs. But just up from uh, where my house was, if you followed the river up, it actually came to the back of an art gallery, a contemporary art gallery. Heidi Modern Art Museum is actually quite a pivotal art moment in uh, really Australian history of art and it made a real impact on me. Basically Heidi was set up by uh, the Reed family, Sunday Reed, who was the father, he was a lawyer and he was quite successful and he decided to set up like an artist commune kind of trip. So in 1934 they buy the Heidi property and even though it's only a couple of well 30 minutes from the city back then it was quite remote and it was a remote rural property where uh, farmland was basically surrounding it and it gave them the privacy to do whatever the hell they want and that they were bohemian in every sense of the term and uh, Sunday, you know, he was quite open to a lot of these artists coming out there and really I think what they did and it became quite a cash cow for them. I was saying to someone at the Heidi Gallery that in a sense they were dairy farmers but uh, they weren't milking cows. They were milking the young talent, uh, the young talented artists that would come to the farm and basically for food and board they would inspire them, push them, psychologically drive them to new areas of making art and you know it was very prosperous and I think eventually Sunday was able to make quite a living and establish himself as a significant player in the Australian art scene. really coming from Heidi and those guys are Albert Tucker, Sidney Nolan, Joy Hester and that was the exhibition I saw today. Uh, it was interesting seeing her perspective. She was able to do a progression, she was a very competent formally trained artist, that's what I could see, I'm not sure if that was the case, I don't know that much about her but I could see her drawing technique was right up there. And then as you walk through the exhibition, it's out at Heidi at the moment, you could see her development towards, well you could say abstract, but really it was more driving an emotional content. She was able to do that through a couple of interesting innova artistic innovations that she came across, which was uh, leaving out the nose. making her drawing style more whimsical, more childlike, more naive and it looked great. Going back to myself as a child of 10, exploring along the creek Huckleberry Finn style as I mentioned, uh, I would come up from the Yarra River, after hours I'd run around the Heidi sculpture park 
And I can only say, uh, in hindsight, that somehow it inspired me to become a sculptor because I had no other influences in my family. My father had an arts degree or he partially did an arts degree, but uh, other than that, I had no other influence, particularly with sculpture. And it definitely inspired me to start thinking in those ways. But one particular day I was running around there and of course it was closed and a chap was there. And it's a sort of a vague memory for some reason, but uh, he called me over and I had a couple of friends there and I sat with him and spoke to him for quite a while. And from what I could pick that he was sort of saw something of an artistic kind of temperament in me. He was probably quite aware of this type of thing, having so much contact with artists. And the, and the person I'm talking about is uh, Sweeney Reed, and uh, he was the adopted child that the Reed family took on from Joy Hester. Uh, Joy Hester was the mother of, of uh, Sweeney Reed, and when I was running around there, which would have been in the 80s, he was. Uh, the last Reed in the family to have ownership of the property. He was living in the house. Um, but I mean, it was just an interesting footnote to history. Uh, sadly, he, yeah, I think he killed himself, which was uh, diff very difficult. And subsequently, Heidi Gallery was sort of handed over to the public and it's become an institution since then. I can confidently say that Heidi's had a significant impact on my understanding of what an artist is and I think not just for me but it's an extremely popular place and I think it really does educate so many people on contemporary Australian art someone like Albert Tucker he embodies Australian rustic gum trees or the sort of iron willed beaten man, this Australian aesthetic, which I find quite interesting. Um, I'm just going to get off the track here and just go a little bit behind everybody. Uh, as usual, <laughs> an Australian identity that obviously they were developing it outside European style art that was going to reflect something of the identity of the Australian uh, consciousness and I think you can say in a lot of ways that thanks to the Reed family for setting up a operating platform for a lot of a lot of artists to be developed in that environment and it definitely was a ferment of creative ideas about how to live your life and I can definitely see, you know, there was a lot of sex going on. There was a lot of action going on down the bush near the river. Uh, <laughs> and there was a lot of other sort of kind of anti-socially accepted behaviour, which I'm okay with. And I think people find fascinating now, but I mean, at the time I think it was quite extreme to the conservative concepts of 1940s Australia. I think when we experience things like the lockdowns, um, we suddenly have an appreciation for these amenities such as parks, Heidi Gallery for example, and we see the importance of them in so many ways. 